Good morning everybody. I am in a new state park today that I haven't been to. Um, if you're not familiar with my one and only bucket list, I guess it's my only one. I have a bucket list of visiting every Texas state park there is and there's over a hundred. Just spent the night at Lake Brownwood State Park in Brownwood, Texas. I'm headed to Lollapalooza and just needed a place to stop over for the night. If you watched in my last clip, we got kicked out of the last place we were, so we just decided to drive about an hour and a half and come here. So I'm going up to pay because we got in after hours last night and so I'm going to go pay, but we're not staying here. Um, they don't have Verizon in this town. <laughs> so I have no internet. I can't. I'm lost right now. But And, and then we're going to hit the road and continue east. I know I have more than 25 parks, state parks that I've been to, but I know I'm under 30. But... Um, I get to mark off another one today. See the deer on the side of the road? Well, one's in the middle of the road. Ooh. Good morning, deer. Good morning, deer. Got me another hiking stick medallion from Brownwood. That is something I need to finish is putting the hiking stick medallions on my hiking stick and I may need to actually start a new hiking stick which I have been working on making my own so I will have to see about doing that pretty soon in the next few weeks because I've got several of these I need to put on Water's running in that creek. Good morning. I am in Cleburne State Park. I'm working my way to Lollapalooza and I am uh, gonna be there on Wednesday, but I'm trying to get there um, slowly just because of all the rain and it's been, it's been a trip just getting here because of all the rain, um, but it is Saturday morning and they don't have any openings um, as of yesterday for tonight. So I'm on my way to the office to see if I'm gonna have to leave today and go find someplace else to stay. It's just been a little, um, <laughs> trying to find places that the parks are open and they have sites available. Um, I do have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night reserved here. Saturday night's an issue. They were all booked up. So it is 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. So I'm going to the office to see if they actually have somebody canceled or something and see if they have a spot for tonight. And I don't have to leave here until 2 p.m. So I'll, if they don't have anything right now, then I'll check back. Um later today so we'll see so it's 8 37 I checked with the office so far there is nothing available for tonight so uh, I'll just check back with them later on and see if they have a cancellation for today but if not then I guess I'm moving somewhere else today I don't know where maybe I'll call Cedar Cedar Hill see if I can tell them I'm coming in for Lollapalooza and can I come early. Okay, I am at this huge motor home sales place. Huge. Okay, we're going to go in this one just because we can. $424,000. Yeah, it's a bus. I can't even believe they 
leave it unlocked, but they do. Wow. <laughs> Leather seating. Y'all want to go camping in this? Five hundred thousand dollar. And it's just as compact as all the other ones. Well, it's got a ceiling fan in it. I can't turn on any lights. The old refrigerator freezer. Wow. The ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to turn on any of the lights or I would. Could you imagine driving down the road in this? That's, no, it's <laughs> hard, it's definitely hard to imagine. Look at all the glass. <laughs> it's fun though, I, I say it's fun. I don't think I'd want to drive this down the road. It's too big. It has a Dometic outside refrigerator. Right next to your sewer hose. They just put things wherever. 